Yeah, so WR104 yeah. is a Wolf Rayet star, yeah. which is going to pop really soon, any time in the next week or a couple of thousand years, mm-hmm. and which, when it pops, has a high chance of popping along a single beam, which is almost certainly aimed close to us. If it were to pop, explode, when the beam was named aimed at us, it would wipe out the ozone layer on that side of the planet in which it is a Wow. It would be so messy. And the Peter who, person who's done this work is Peter Tuthill at the University of Sydney on Wolf Ray at 104. Yeah, there's a the, link The to life him. is ja- dangerous. Like, I, I get a lot of my spiritual wisdom from the cartoon um, Dilbert, no, Doonesbury. Doonesbury, yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. And do you remember how the world was supposed to end a few weeks ago? Indeed. Yeah. Well, one of the characters were in, in there was talking to the uh, fundamentalist Christians who were saying, well, the world is only 70,000 years old and we're going to die on the 7,000th anniversary of it. And then one of the characters whom you would not expect to have any religious training at all started quoting Bible back. Matthew mm. twenty four thirty six saying, and when the end comes, you won't have any idea of it like a thief in the night, blah, 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 blah. The universe is a dangerous place. And we do not know the hour of our death, and anything could happen. Um, the most dangerous journey you ever had was that journey when you were being born, yep. Yep. and you came down a birth canal, and on a death rate per kilometre basis, or injury per kilometre basis, that journey down a 10 centimetre birth canal, the vagina, was the most dangerous journey you ever had in your life, and you got here. So be happy. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Carl, you're a genius. Michael, thank you thank very you, much Dr. indeed. Thank you, Dr. Carl. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh,